I'm Chris Vannis up in Boston. Let me start with this Petraea sex story. Sex, sex, sex. That's what it's about. The testy, seamy search for something wild in the button-down world of spies, spooks, whatever they call themselves these days, and the shine boots and chest medals of the combat elite. A general has an affair with a young reporter. That young reporter uh, spies some competition, tells her to bug off. Meanwhile, that competition becomes the target of tens of thousands of emails from yet another general. What a soap opera, but guess what? One of the generals, actually he's an ex-general, is head of the CIA, or just was. The other general, the one sending the email by the bushel, is our commander in charge in Afghanistan. If this were a British plot, and it sure is kinky enough, we'd be calling it carry-on generals, but there are stakes. And one of them is our country's security. Let's not forget that as we dig deeper, that fact into this plot tonight. Let me, uh, joining us right now is Washington Post reporter Sari Horwitz. Also here is David Woods, senior military correspondent for the Huffington Post. Sari, give me a sense. I don't want people to get lost, but before we start, let me take my own shot at this, uh, at the, how the whole thing is put together. Let's watch. The messy and complex web begins with David Petraeus. In 2006, Petraeus meets Paula Broadwell a West Point graduate and doctoral student after giving a speech at Harvard. Fast forward to May of this year. Another woman, Jill Kelly, a friend of Petraeus and his wife, begins receiving harassing emails. She asks a friend at the FBI to help launch an investigation. The emails, it is eventually discovered, are being sent by Broadwell. The FBI also discovers that Broadwell and Petraeus have been having an affair. Meanwhile, the FBI agent who Kelly approached grows frustrated after he's kept off the case. His supervisors reportedly are concerned that he has, quote, grown obsessed with the matter. It's also to uncovered that he has sent shirtless photos of himself to Kelly. That agent contacts Republican Congressman David Reichert to air his frustrations. Reichert then passes the information on to House Majority Leader Eric Cantor, who speaks with the FBI whistleblower in late October. It turns out that another major military figure, General John Allen, the commander of U.S. and NATO troops in Afghanistan, and Petraeus's successor in that position, has been having an email relationship with Jill Kelly. The FBI uncovers somewhere between 20,000 and 30,000 pages of documents that contain, quote, potentially inappropriate communication between Allen and Kelly, one senior U.S. defense official tells the Washington Post. The Post also reports that Allen received at least one email that talked about Kelly from an unidentified account that eventually was traced to none other than Paula Broadwell. Well, there you have it. Sorry, you're investigating this. I've tried to explain this, and I'm trying not to be lighthearted. 